all right guys welcome back to most pc with now today here we are with this undervolting and overclocking tutorial this is not an undervolting to save power this is an undervolting to save power reduce temp by a little bit but get a lot more performance so let's get straight into it First thing you want to do is go here on MSI Afterburner. You will need MSI Afterburner and Heaven Benchmark running in the background. I have other undervolting videos if you want to uh, see more about this, but basically you want to go here and hit minus 250. Okay, at this point, you hit Control F on the keyboard, open up the curve, and now you want to grab the 1025 millivolt point, okay, on the X axis and bring it up to 2000 points, exactly 2000, okay? At this point, go here, hit apply. The curve will get normalized. Now go on the 2000 point, on the one, 1025, make sure it's at 2000, and click the L button on the keyboard, hit apply again, locked in. Here we are. Now you just go on the memory clock and set 500 in there, hit apply. You go on the power limit, unlock it, and here we are with our undervolt and overclock. Quick and easy. This is if you want to get the most possible like power to if, like the better point when it comes to power and efficiency, but to get the absolute most performance. If you have a problem with your temperature, then you can test it, and the best point for um, actual efficiency would be the 925 one. Now let me show you quickly. You just go minus 250, you go on the 925 points and you can bring it up to like 1800, hit apply. And this one is gonna give you less performance, but way less power consumption. We have a hundred millivolt less. So you might wanna try this one out if you want to. This is my actual curve that I use on the daily. Uh, so it's at 1025 and it's at exactly 2010 on the core clock and we have plus 500. This is my personal one, but the one I told you before are gonna work for you too. So use the other two. Take care guys, peace.